I'm gonna get my thing here. I'm gonna ring up it is. I'm convinced now, man. I shouldn't say it like that, because then, then I'll be, I'll be, you know, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be. Ooh, let me put my glasses on. Sunshiny out too. Sunshiny day. Get out there and get your vitamin D the natural way. Meanwhile, take your bitters. Unless I do. Moringa bitters. Come on, you know the old people. I say old men, they got a little pocket, right? They take the thing out the pocket and do a little sip there every once in a while, and all throughout the day. Well, I'm doing it too. Well, that's just not true. One throughout the day. Oh, I got some takes of pills. That they gave me. Oh, oh let's see what pills they gave me. VA. I keep on telling y'all. See, for you people who you, you don't believe in socialized medicine or Medicare for all, well, let me tell you something. Huh. Don't. <laughs> you think they hand it out to you? No, when the big corporation, something happens to them, the first thing they do, they jump on the thing. Hey, we need some help, you know? And when they kick you off the uh, off, off their, their roles, they kick you off their uh, medical insurance thing, whatever have you. It's the only job, the only reason why he's at that job because of that. Well, you ain't got that job no more. Well, all of a sudden, maybe. In fact, I don't hear nobody say talking about Medicare for all. No. That should be the, it should be, so. this is the thing, like I said, I talked to my friend, you know, well, I'm only taking one black seed a day, or one record to it. And they're saying that, that somebody's trying to hire for $30 an hour or something like that. Well, the question is, if you could afford, afford to pay your workers, just to ask them, pay your, pay your workers, Thirty dollars an hour this week. Why couldn't you pay him thirty dollars an hour last month? This is aspirin. This is a real, really low dose of aspirin. You're supposed to take it when you're old because you know the heart stuff. You know because the blood thickens. I don't know. Something. Take an aspirin. Again, I don't do it every day because I come over here. But now I'm coming over here, baby. Every two days. I last missed the last two days because. Uh, I got that, got that. What's this? A B twelve. Uh, only because it was it was it was dank out. Was, you know, <laughs> I heard something funny. You know, in New York, they got the hospital ship that's supposed to come to the Navy ship, but you know, they're not taking Corona people. They're taking people that's not Corona, which makes makes a lot of sense. But you had human beings just was not stop being human beings. They were out there taking selfies or taking in crowds. With, I don't know. That's what they told me. That's what I've been told. I haven't been paying very attention to a lot of a lot of a lot of media stuff, you know. And just don't, I just can't. You know, I figure if it's it, it'll come to me. Everything that I need will just it'll just magically appear. But here's something: there was that brother that worked for Amazon out there. In, was it Queens or Brooklyn or Staten Island? Some place in the outer boroughs. That's what we call it. If you're not a, if you're not a, if you're not in, in in like Bronx or Manhattan, we say the outer boroughs. Staten Island, you know, it's the outer borough. But he organized, he organized a strike, you know? And I think that's what should happen. People should start striking, you know? Because what's happening now? All them, the, 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 okay, I don't want to make this a class thing, a caste thing, a class thing. But however, the people can afford it. You know, they're inside getting stuff delivered to them, you know what I mean? Unbeknownst to them, that people in the in the warehouse, we have a warehouse full of whatever happened, you know, thousand people. One person get the virus, and they they putting that all in all the packages and that and that, and they last for they don't know how many hours it lasts for, and it gets delivered to you in no time at all. And pretty soon, you know, oh, let me wash some package down, let me sit, let it sit there for a few hours. You know what I'm saying? They do all kinds of things, but just think of it. Oh, so you comfortable people? Now's the time. Don't come to work. Don't don't just don't can't. D d oh boy. This country's going to change, and now, now they got a problem because Biden can't be doing nothing. That boy is this. That boy gone. You know what I mean? I don't know where he's going to, but he gone. You know, so I guess they're trying to make formal the president. I don't know anybody but Bernie, which is fine with me. I don't 
you know, all them people, it don't matter to me because ain't none of them giving, ain't none of them talking about reparations. Which is what you should be talking about. If we had reparations, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have this problem. Hmm? But no, can't have reparations in a capitalist society. I'm sorry, a capitalist society that's run, I'm sorry, a predatory capitalist society that's run by a bunch of psychotic white people, white mentality people. I don't have to say white white mentality because, you know, everybody gets too sensitive to white, black, whatever happens. Because, you know, black people, Indian people, you know, Chinese people, all Middle Eastern peace people, or with the Saudis, whatever. The, they are white, but especially black, they can have that white mentality. That's what gets us into the Because it's a white mentality that created the capitalist system. It's a white mentality to do everything for money da, 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 and don't care about da, 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 da. And so therefore, you get what you get. Not my fault. I mean, I'm sheltered. I gotta be sheltered. I'm sheltered. I'm, I'm here, there. In fact, I gotta go. I'm gonna make this short because I'm gonna walk on back. With somebody stay here, make sure buddy's all right. You know, nah, nah, nah. He don't need nothing. He said, don't need him. And walk on back, go back on 16th Street, get my get my fish, my fried fish, and my and my uh, my shrimp. Go back right into shelter. Okay, I can shelter. And what I need, oh, okay, I'm definitely going to Trader Joe's tomorrow morning because I gotta get some more. I gotta get some beans. I want to make sure I have a lot of beans and rice because when stuff gets really sticky, beans and rice. That's all I got to say. Me, me being, that's the I, me being me. T, from the Patterson taking the trench to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect. But remember, before I go, let me see. Let me see what's happening. This is an opportunity. Well, remember, remember, I'm just an insignificant little speck on the face of Earth. And so are you. If a lot of us little insignificant specks get together, then things change. Because right now, on the insignificant little speck, uh, you know, uh, line right now, you know, the big thing is, I love this one. Black people are so good. 5G is causing this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here's my thing. First of all, we need to keep on talking to each other. It's fine, because I, I just, look, I just love being black. Black man, if you can survive being a black man in the world today is the thing to be. I'm talking about black American, I guess. Whatever, I'm not trying to be whatever. All I'm trying to say is this. So, what's happening? They blame everything, blame everything. But here's my thing. I said this before, and I just love to say it, so I'm going to say it again. I used to love the watch, Little Rascals. I used to watch Little Rascals. It's totally integrated, you know, whatever, you know. And, uh, you know, there was this thing. I think it started with somebody said, what you going to do now, Spanky? That was the whole thing. But black people, because, you know, Spanky, come on. You know, okay, he's a leader, but he's like, this dope boy. He's like, mm -hmm. so we change it to what you're going to do now, but we, in other words, whatever is happening, the question is, what are you going to do? That's my clarion call for this whole thing. What you going to do now, Buckwheat? Now that it's here, what you going to do? Yeah, that's right. When they close down the banks and ain't no money, and blah, 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 blah. And people, hey, you did, you did. Now, I did. Let me see what I did today. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I did today. But this, this white lady tried to say something to me. I looked at it like she was stupid. You know? White people. The problem is, now that you're black, black people, you're trying to tell black people what to do in the situation that we're used to. We're used to this being the, 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 the low person on top of being the victim. You know? And then you're going to now, now you're going to still try to, with your whiteness, trying to correct, trying to say something to the victims, to the people who know what's going on. You're going to try to explain to them or you're going to try to, you know, lead them. Or you're going to try to them not to do this and not to do that. Come on. Ain't nobody listening to you no more. White mentality got to go, got to go, got to go. Mm. 